16 and it's time for the first haul of 2018. When you get a lot of books in the mail and you need a friend with whom to share. Hit record, bring them here and share them with cheer. This is a book haul. I don't know what I'm saying. I have a haul for you. I've gotten a lot of books in the mail whilst away on the East Coast. And I have two unboxings. The Society 6 unboxing, the Special Zenith unboxing. Let's do this! As always, the first book I have to show you today is our book explosion. January 2018, book of the month. This month we're working with source books and we are reading Before I Let Go by Marie Nykamp. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Before I Let Go is about these two inseparable best friends who live in Alaska and then one of them has to move with her family. But she's planning on visiting. They have this visit planned and she's all excited and right before she goes, her best friend dies. So obviously she still goes to Alaska and when she gets there, everything's just weird. Secrets are being kept, she's confused, and she's devastated. And we go from there. So it sounds super mysterious and kind of spooky. I'm excited to dive into it. If you don't know, Books Listen is a book club that I wrote with Jesse the Reader and Caddy Tastic. We will be having a live show at the end of the month to discuss before I let go with all of you and take questions live. It's always really fun, so I'll leave more information about that in the description below. Next, I have another book that I got in the mail, and that is The Last to Let Go by Amber Smith. Amber Smith wrote another book that I really wanted to read and never got to, The Way I Used to Be, and I still have it, and I still want to read it and I still love the cover and this cover is done in the same style. I really like it. I'm just drawn to this. I've heard great things about the way I used to be. I don't know what The Last to Let Go is about. Holy crap. Okay, Brooke Winters is starting junior year and her mother is arrested for killing her abusive father. No one really knows what happened that day, whether it was premeditated or self-defense, whether it was right or wrong. And now Brooke and her siblings are on their own. Wow, that sounds intense. And I would really like to read this too. I have so many books I really wanna read right now and I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm overwhelmed as I always am. But someday I'm going to get to all of them. Next, I have Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This was sent to me as part of a paid promotion with Disney Hyperion. And I've started this one because I am moderating, actually today, later today, I am moderating Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner's event in Huntington Beach. And it's so easy to read. I blew through the first 50 pages in like five seconds. I really love, obviously, I already knew I love the writing style, but I love the writing style. And it's like Indiana Jones, Earth is dying, as you know, it always is. And a lot of really big cities have had to be evacuated. And as soon as they are evacuated, people obviously come in and scavenge and raid everything that was left behind. Raiding and scavenging has become a big thing. And obviously we're always looking for other planets to colonize. And recently they found these two planets. One of them was inhabited by this race of aliens that have died out and the coordinates were leaked to this planet, so all the scavengers are racing to get there first so that they could raid whatever these aliens left behind. Our lead character is a raider, and she was hired to go there and retrieve stuff that's worth money. And our other lead character, Jules, is an academic. He's been sent there as part of a team to learn as much as they can about these aliens so that they can possibly utilize whatever they knew to help save the earth or prolong earth's life or you know just help us live in general <laughs> jules and amelia end up traveling together it's been super sassy and super fun and i'm really excited to continue the next two books i have to show you are sending as part of promotion with simon and schuster and that is scythe by neil schusterman in the paperback edition which is now out and book two thunderhead by neil schusterman which is so big and i'm just i'm so bummed i haven't read scythe yet I don't know if you remember last year, I was so excited about Scythe, I still am. And Natasha just read it and I'm so jealous and she was just like, oh my God, it was so good. And I'm just like, damn it, I still haven't picked it up but I knew it was gonna be good. My spider senses were tingling with that description. Anyway, book two is out. It's gorgeous. I really love the design of these books too. They're so badass. Whoa. So if you don't know already, Scythe is just, sounds like the coolest book ever. So it takes place in a world with no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery, and humanity has conquered death. So Scythes are the only things that can end lives. And so people are just hired to be the Scythe to kill people, to keep the population under control. And these two teens are chosen to be Scythes and they don't wanna be Scythes. 
because that sounds like a really depressing job. But if they don't master the art of killing people, then the punishment is that they themselves will be killed. So it's quite literally kill or be killed up in here. I maybe I'll get the audiobook so I don't push me to read it faster. And then this is book two, Thunderhead, which I don't I don't feel safe even reading the synopsis because I haven't read book one yet, but know that it's out. So now when you finish book one, you can marathon and just jump right into book two. The back says the Thunderhead cannot interfere in the affairs of Scythedom. All it can do is observe. It does not like what it sees. So Thunderhead maybe sounds like the boss of the Scythe? I, I do not know. I will find out when I read Scythe, which I'm determined to do this year. I'm determined to read Scythe this year. I'm determined to read Red Rising this year. I'm determined to read a Victoria Schwab book this year. Like there are so many series, like these are all series that I have like in their completion on my shelves, but have not read yet just because I have so many things to read. I gotta figure out a way to make that happen. I mean, I mean, I have to just like actually write out a hardcore reading schedule for myself. Oh my God, Scythe won like a prize. I just ignored this. I was just like so excited about the actual plot. The Michael Prince Award for Excellence in Young Adult Literature. Very nice. Next is a book that I just randomly got in the mail from Harper Teen, and I thought the title was really cute, and the cover was really cute, so I wanted to show it to you, and it is called Together at Midnight. I'm assuming it's a contemporary book. It's by Jennifer Castle. I haven't read anything by her before, but I'm digging the vibes here. The next book I have to show you is actually off February Books Bulletin Book of the Month, and that is Rain the Earth by A.C. Gawkin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This was sent to me by Poolsbury, who we're working with this month. This is the first in a new fantasy series. It's about a girl whose country is at war with the kingdom next door. They're all desperate to see it end. So to cease fire, our lead character agrees to an arranged marriage with the king of this other land. And this other land is completely different from everything she's ever known, and she has magic in her blood, and in this land magic is outlawed and people who can perform magic are considered traitors and once found out get tortured or worse. So it has all the groundwork to be super epic. It's been a while since I read a new fantasy. Oh my god, this is the author of the Scarlet series. Scarlet Lady Thief and Lionheart. Oh my gosh, I used to see those all the time at the store and want to buy them, but I never did. Kirkus Reviews calls it a manifesto of female strength. I like that. Rain the Earth is the feminist fantasy I didn't know I needed. The next book I got in the mail is another book that just randomly came in the mail from Harlequin Teen, and it's the new Katie McGarry. And it is leaking glitter all over my floor, this, this nice ribbon. Say you'll remember me. Oh, I like that, it's from a song. Katie Katie McGarry writes contemporary stories. The tagline here says they stood together against the world. God, what song is that from? Yeah, I will remember you and all of the things that you still do. They used to play it when people got voted off so they can dance. I have two more books here. The next book I have to show you was sent to me by HMH, who I'm working with this month. It's an anthology and it's called Me Cute. Some people are destined to me. I love this cover. I think it's adorable. It's an anthology of short stories about meet cutes, which is like the moment when the couple meets in a cute way in any story or movie that you've seen. This anthology includes stories from Jennifer L. Armentrout, Danielle Clayton, Katie Catugno, Emery Lord, Huntley Fitzpatrick, Nina LaCour, Sarah Shepard, Nicola Yoon, and more. It sounds absolutely adorable. Let's take a look at it naked. Oh, wow, I like how they have like every author's last name on it. That's cool. Every romance has to start somewhere. And the last book I have to show you today is one that I already read and have talked about, and that is Fragments of a Lost, which was sent to me by Random House, who I'm also working with. And this is about a girl whose ex-boyfriend dies. She broke up with him, and a month later, he has died. And his mom asks her to clean out his room, which is super weird, but like, his mom just doesn't want to go in there, and he doesn't have any older siblings, and his dad isn't in the picture, so she agrees to do it. The whole book is us with her as she goes through his stuff. As she goes through this stuff, she starts to realize like some things aren't adding up and things start to get real weird and fishy up in here. I really enjoyed the writing style. It was super intriguing. If you want to hear more of my thoughts about it, I discuss it in my stories I ate this month in November. I'll link it down below. It was good. Those are my books, but I have two unboxings. A Zenith unboxing from Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Zenith comes out so soon. Is it like January 16th? <gasps> Ooh, it smells really good in here. Oh, oh, it's because there's a bath bomb. <laughs> Ooh, it's a galaxy bath bomb. That's awesome. If you don't know, Zenith takes place in space. <gasps> It's the hardcover final edition of Zenith. Oh, it's so pretty and it's so hardcover. I'm 
I'm gonna be moderating Sasha and Lindsay's horse stop at the Grove in LA on January 24th, which is so exciting. Zenith follows this group of badass female space pirates who are hired to raid different areas of the galaxy, and their captain Andy has this like dark past that haunts her. And of course, it's my Sasha Allsberg and Lizzie Cummings, who are two kick-ass ladies in the book community. There is darkness sweeping across the stars. Oh, look at this! It's a map of the galaxy. That's really cool. Oh, it's purple naked! Nice! This is so real! It's so official! Huge congrats to Sasha and Lindsay. This is beautiful. And last but not least, I have a Society6 unboxing from Evie's shop. If you've been here for a while, you've probably seen me on Box. Some of her bookish designs in the past, they're all beautiful. So I'm so excited! The first thing I have to unbox is this giant package. Okay. I think it's a blanket. I'm gonna link down below to Evie's shop. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. I love the Society 6 blankets. Oh my god, what's on this? Oh my gosh! It is our choices, Harry, that show that we truly are far more than our abilities. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm putting this baby on my bed. I just realized that like, I don't have a throw blanket near my bed. I have a throw blanket on my couch and a throw blanket over here, and I don't have a throw blanket on my bed. Here we go! Now I do with one of my favorite Harry Potter quotes. I quoted this so much last year at all of like the Because You Love to Hate Me panels. Dumbledore always came up. There's another thing in here. It's a pillow. Oh my god, it's already stuffed. You usually have to put the pillows together. Oh my gosh. A dragon is not a slave. Is this Game of Thrones? It is Game of Thrones. It's definitely Game of Thrones. Oh my god, I don't have anything Game of Thrones. This is gorgeous. I love it. I love everything Evie makes. Yes, though. Yes. Look at this. Look at the city on fire. Next, I have this package. Ugh. Ooh, what is this? Oh my god, it's a notebook. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. So cute. I didn't even know Society6 did this. Look at this. It's like a binded notebook. Look at the trio. And then I have this. I already took the outside packaging off. <gasps> oh my god, they're all mugs. <laughs> Revelio. So pretty. It was books that made me feel that perhaps I was not completely alone. Cassandra Clare, Will Herondale. <laughs> Do not let the hard days win. I'm not sure what book this is from, but just in general, this is an inspiring quote. I feel like it might be from Akamath. One more mug! Da, 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 da. Ooh. Dream up something wild and improbable. Strange the Dreamer. Oh, this is from Strange the Dreamer! Another book that I'm determined to read this year because everyone says it is unbelievable and I believe them. I've read Lainey Taylor before and she is unbelievable. Thank you so much Evie for sending me all these beautiful things for my apartment. I have a link to Evie's shop in the description below. Definitely check out her stuff. It's gorgeous. That has been my first- oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This has been my first book haul of 2018. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christina. I make videos every Tuesday. I will see you next time. Goodbye!